Hello students, uh, we are doing 3D object representation. Uh, in the previous video, we saw the introduction of all the various uh, techniques using which 3D objects are represented and uh, how, uh, how they are going to be manipulated, uh, how these 3D objects are manipulated to make an animation uh, scene. Uh, we will see uh, when we study these objects in detail. Okay? Uh, now, the first kind of 3D object representation is uh, called as the polygon surfaces. Okay? So, uh, the main idea behind this kind of object representation is that it uses polygons to represent everything. So, it uses uh, a set of multiple polygons to represent a 3D object and it is the mo most commonly used uh, boundary representation for a 3D graphical object. As uh, you know, uh, the main advantage of this is that uh, it all your surfaces, all the polygon surfaces could easily be described with a linear equation. What happens uh, with this is it simplifies and speeds up the surface rendering and display of objects. Okay, So, for this region, polygon descriptors or polygon surfaces are often referred to as standard graphical objects because they are very easy to work with. Okay, uh, so this is an example over here of uh, a wireframe representation of a cylinder. Okay, so as you can see, there are uh, these these polygons are used in order to display this particular cylinder. Okay, and the back side of the cylinder uh, display the lines are removed because it's the hidden surface. We don't really, if you're looking from the front angle, we don't really see the back side, so that's why it is removed. Okay. Now, in polygon surface, you have certain concepts that you have to keep in mind. So, in polygon surface also, you have to keep in mind how the data is saved in the system or uh, how the data is saved in the memory of the computer. Okay. Now, in polygon table, uh, for polygon surfaces, the data is stored in the form of polygon tables. Okay. We specify a polygon surface with a set of vertex coordinates and associate associated attribute parameters. Okay. Now, uh, the polygon uh, tables are represented in the form of geometric tables and attribute tables. Now, what will geometric tables do? Geometric uh, tables contain, uh, contain uh, this information, the vertex table, the edge table, the polygon table. So, basically they contain vertex uh, coordinate information okay, uh, to determine the spatial coordinates uh, or, or the spatial orientation of a particular. So, they give uh, uh, the spatial information about the polygon surface, okay. Whereas, your uh, attribute information, uh, sorry, whereas the attribute information of an object includes uh, the attribute table. It includes the parameters that specify the degree of transparency for a particular object or uh, the surface reflectivity of a particular object, okay, how transparent the object is or how reflective the object should look in a particular ski uh, screen or the texture of an object that, that comes inside the attribute table. So, that is the information that is stored in the attribute tables of a particular uh, of a particular polygon table. So, there are two types of information that are stored in polygon tables, geometric table information or geometric data tables and attribute data tables. What is geometric data table? Geometric table uh, data table will give the spatial qualities and attribute data will give the uh, qualities like transparency or uh, reflectivity or the texture characteristics. Okay? Now, let us look at an example of a surface over here and see what I mean by a vertex table and edge table and polygon table. Okay? Now, uh, uh, before that, I just want to add that uh, this information uh, of the polygon table, uh, if the data is placed into tables that are to be used in subsequent processing, uh, you can use this data to manipulate the object to bring uh, to bring motion into the object. So, you can use uh, this data uh, for making a particular animated scene. Okay? So, let us look at this example over here. All right? uh, this is a, a structure that I have. It is a, uh, it has uh, 6 edges and 5 vertices. Okay? So, I have numbered them right here V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. Okay? Uh, 5 vertices and 6 edges E1, E2, E3. E4, E5, E6. Now, this structure over here, this object over here has two surfaces. 
this is my first surface this triangle is my first surface and this polygon right here is my second surface okay so now how is this information uh, stored in the table first i have the vertex table okay now first i have the vertex table the vertex table will have the vertex information so uh, how many vertex uh, vertices do i have i have v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 so i'll write v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 okay now since it, we are doing 3d uh, representations every vertex will have three coordinates associated with it okay so we have x1 y1 z1 okay then we have x2 y2 z2 then we have x3 y3 z3 x4 y4 z4 x5 y5 z5 okay now what will the edge table have uh, so in the edge table i am storing those six edges that i have over here okay so let's write it down e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 all right and the vertex that is associated uh, with the edge okay so e1 has uh, is made of v1 and v2 so i am going to just write v1 comma v2 over here okay e2 is made of v2 and v3 e2 and v3 over here e3 is made of v1 and v3 similarly v3 v4 v4 v5 v5 and v1 okay so this is my edge table then i have like i said i have two surfaces okay so my s1 and my s2 two surfaces what are the edges associated with the two sur surfaces for s1 i have three edges e1 e2 and e3 so i'm just going to write it over here e1 e2 e3 okay and my s2 has e3 e4 e5 and e6 e3 e4 e5 e6 okay so this is how uh, a polygon table is represented <coughs> okay so uh, let me just tell you something about these three tables right here there are three tables like i mentioned in the geometric data tables there are three tables uh, vertex table edge table and polygon table okay we have uh, made these three tables over here vertex table edge table and polygon table okay now coordinate values for each vertex in the object are stored in the vertex table right x y z uh, x1 y1 uh, x2 y2 z2 so on and so forth okay and uh, what does the edge table contain it contains the pointer back to the vertex table to identify the vertices for each polygon edge okay so it has a pointer back to the vertex table that identifies the vertices that every edge will contain so it will point back to v1 v2 e1 will point back to v1 v2 e2 will point back to v2 v3 so on and so forth and what will the polygon table contain it will contain the pointer back again back to the uh, sorry back to the edge table to identify the edges of e so s1 will be pointed to e1 e2 e3 e1 e2 e3 so on and so forth okay so this is what uh, your pol this is the kind of information uh, that you have inside a polygon table okay so this is how you represent a polygon table now next concept that you have is polygon uh, is plane equations okay now this is we just change this right here these uh, this is plane equations plane equations uh what are plane equations in order to produce a display of 3d object we must process the input data representation of the object through several there are a lot of procedures through several procedures i mean so there are a lot of procedures uh that we have to perform in order to process a 3d object okay now uh, for some of the, these procedures we need uh, information like the plane equations or the surface uh, like in the previous example in this example there were two surfaces so we need the equations of those two surfaces okay uh, in order to process information okay now this information is obtained from a vertex coordinate values and the equations that describe the polygon plane what is the equation that describes the polygon plane uh, ax this is uh, this is a common general equation it is ax plus by plus uh, cz plus d sorry 
okay so this th is equal to 0 this is the plane equation that is generally used okay and what is x y z in this it is any point on the plane okay x y z is any point on the plane okay and what is a b c d a b c d are the coefficients constants describing the spatial properties of the plane okay so the equation plane equation the general plane equation is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 x where x y z is any point on the plane and a b c d are the coefficients or constants describing the spatial properties of the plane okay so like i said you have polygon surfaces and in polygon surface you have polygon tables uh, and plane equations okay so this is uh, this is all about polygon surfaces uh, and this is a 3d object representation technique thank you